Welcome everybody to Banks Power's Race Shop. I'm currently here in North Engineering and today we're talking about our brand new intake for the 2020 plus Duramax L5P. That's for your GMC, Chevrolet, 2500 and 3500 pickup trucks with 6.6 .6 liter diesel. Now this intake features a radical new next generation design and it's only possible because of this module. This is an exclusive patented Banks air mass control module. This allows us to do all kinds of new designs, new filter layouts, and nobody else can do it, and we're gonna get into it. But first, let's see what's going on under your hood with your factory air box. <coughs> so here's your factory air box, an intake for a 2020 plus L5P. So air enters this intake from two spots. We have the front inlet that goes to your grill that provides some ram air effect. And we have a top duct here that goes onto your hood scoop. Now, as the air is being drawn in from your turbo, you have a resonator here, an inline resonator here, and some corrugated bellows here. While this allows lots of movement, all three of these things are adding resistance and adding drag to the intake. These are only here for noise reduction and vibration reduction. Now, before I go inside this air box, I wanna show you what's going on here with these bellows. While they do allow a lot of movement, there's so much extra drag from these billows, effectively, the cross section is reduced. And this ends up choking down through these billows. It's not ideal. We'll talk about this later on and how the bank's ram air is different. So let's see what's going on inside this box. So this filter here, it's your factory air filter. It looks pretty good at first. Might think it has a large surface area, but there's already a couple of things reducing performance. The whole thing is covered with this chicken wire, reducing air running through for one, but look on the other side. You got polyfill, and look at the density of these pleats. These pleats are so close together, you are limiting the amount of air that can run through it. It's not for performance, it's just for dust collection. Then you also look on the inside of the box. All this webbing we have here is mainly there for strength. This air box is injection molded plastic, which means it's really thin, and they need these ribs to allow it to be strong and durable. The problem is, is that they actually end up transferring heat from your engine bay into your air box, instead of rejecting heat like our Ram Air differential cover. You'll find these fins on the lower half and on the upper half. So this duct connects to your hood scoop. It has a full diameter on the top, but look on the side. You can see it immediately reduces right here. You've already lost flow from your top scoop. And it gets even worse. Look from the side. So as air enters this top duct, it has to go all the way down, make a 180 degree turn, and go back up into the filter. Now while this air intake system is well designed, it's well designed only for dust collection and sound reduction. The Banks Ram Air is all about performance. So let's take a look inside and see how it's so different. Now this air box is not injection molded. This box is made from cross-linked polyethylene. The benefit of that is it's a lot denser, which means we don't need any of those strengthening ribs. The inside is completely honed out. There's nothing in here to cause resistance or drag to the airflow. So this front duct here connects to your grill for some ram air effect, but we also have this side air inlet. This side fender inlet is up and away from the elements. And as a bonus with this side air inlet, which I love, you can hear your turbo better. So next, Let's look at the big ass air filter. And yes, it's trademarked. Now this filter is massive, but it's not massive just for the sake of being big. Everything about it was designed in CFD. We go so far as to say how many pleats should be on the filter, how deep should those pleats be, the thickness of the material, the type of material, even down to the wire mesh. These are proprietary custom designed air filters. Now on this side, we have a collar that I'll talk about in a minute, but first, look at this size. You have a full six inch by eight and a half inch opening. That's good for a full 51 square inches of flow area. That's over twice as big as AFE and SNB. So let's look at our competitors and do a bit of analysis. On my left, we have one here that's got way too many pleats. The mesh is too thick, reducing flow, and the outlet size is too small. So S&B had a bit of a chip on their shoulder about our last L5P intake. 
So they wanted to go with the biggest filter they could shove in their box. The problem is the outlet size, once again, too small, and it's offset. You're getting uneven airflow through your air filter. Effectively, all this space down here is being wasted. And when we flow benched all these filters, we still beat them by 18%. Everything about this air box and filter is purpose built. The filter itself angles down in the air box, so debris will fall out of the pleats, not get stuck in them. So this collar mates up perfectly to our super tube, and it smooths out the airflow from the filter into the intake. And sorry guys, it's patent pending, you can't copy it. But here's where things get completely different. Look at this. This cross section here is where your MAP sensor resides. I want you to compare this size to the factory one. Now this is your mass airflow sensor, commonly known as your MAF. It's measuring for air pressure, it's measuring for air flow. It slides into your air duct like a blade like this, but it's specifically calibrated for this diameter. If you go any larger with an aftermarket intake, this sensor will read it and it will send that signal to your ECM, and your ECM will send a check engine light. So how did our engineers design this massive super tube so much larger than the factory size without causing a check engine light? It's made possible by our bank's air mass control module. It's exclusive, it's patented, no one else can make it. What this module does is it connects to your factory map sensor and it sends a corrected value back to your ECM. This way you set no check engine lights, and it frees our engineers to design the freest flowing intake with the least amount of restriction. It corrects for airflow, which affects the diameter, and it measures pressure, which allows us to have a free flowing big ass air filter. This allows us to have any size diameter we want, we can flow as much air as we want, and we are no longer physically limited by this cross section. We can design any intake we want that'll physically fit in your truck. And the bank's air mass control module is patented, which means our competitors are stuck at the factory diameter forever. So this is the intake tube for S and B. Here's your mass airflow sensor. Starts off with a large opening. You think it might flow great, but as soon as they get right here, they have to switch down to a factory size. And in fact, it's even oval. You do not want to measure your mass airflow on a bend. That's S and B. Let's look at another. Starts off with a large opening, you think it might flow great, but as soon as you get down to this mass airflow sensor, you're right back down to factory size. So the super tube connects to your air box on top like that and mates perfectly with that collar on the filter for smooth, seamless airflow. But we have one more trick up our sleeve. It's related to our elbow. Now our bank's elbows are made out of a special synthetic rubber called EPDM and not silicone. And we do that for a couple of reasons. EPDM is rigid, it won't collapse like silicone, and it's resistant against all the elements such as rain and high temperature or cold temperature. These billows slide over our super tube and they lock in place like this. So it's in the exact same spot as factory, but unlike those factory billows, which will cause airflow restriction, our airflow can go right through our billows and right into that turbo. You get all the free motion as your engine is rocking back and forth, and you get all the performance you want. You have to realize your air box is bolted to your frame, but your engine is vibrating back and forth constantly. To accommodate for that vibration, we put the billows in line with vibration. Our competitors, they have a silicone coupler on the turbo side, not good. As that engine's rocking back and forth, you end up misaligning your turbo inlet and you're reducing performance. So with all that said, what does this translate to? We are able to have the highest flowing intake with the least amount of restriction, and we flow 58% more mass airflow than stock, which is more than AFB and SNB. Now this entire system is only possible because of this patented Banks air mass control module. So what does this mean to you? By removing restrictions in your intake, we are improving the efficiency of your turbo because it's working less hard. That's better fuel economy and better throttle response. Now with a tuned truck, be it with a Derringer or other, the gains are even more impressive. So get your bank's Ram Air today.